What's up, everybody? Rob here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I want to talk about fractional reserve banking and how crazy, crazy it is during this pandemic, what it really means, and some things that I don't think everyone is realizing is happening because of fractional reserve banking. Now, you would think you would think Poof Powell, the king of poofing money. And again, I dub that term. If somebody says Poof Powell, it's my term, my term. Anyway, Poof Powell, you'd think he has the ultimate poofing ability to poof as much into existence as he poofing wants to do. <laughs> no. The only thing entity that can poof more into existence than Powell and the Fed is fractional reserve banking from the commercial banks because they take the poof money. The way to think about it is Powell and the Fed is throwing a snowball off the cliff and starting an avalanche. That avalanche is fractional reserve banking. So what is fractional reserve banking? First, if you want to find out, smash that like button and turn it blue. I'm just kidding. I'll tell you anyway. But if you smash that like button and turn it blue, it helps more people see this video. And if you find it valuable and you want more people to view this content, it would really mean a lot to me if you smash that like button. And if you want to click subscribe, there's a subscribe square now and a rectangle. And if you click either of those and then click the bell afterwards, you'll be notified of all future videos. Would really appreciate it. So what is fractional reserve banking? They are actually allowed, which is crazy. It makes my, my voice crack thinking about it. They are actually allowed to take your $1,000 and loan 900 of it. And under fractional reserve banking, they only need to hold 10% of your deposit in the vault. So if they take in a million dollars, they can loan 900,000 of it and only have to put 10% into your vault. Now, how does this print money and how does this make money just poofed into existence like, you know, Poof Powell would do it? It multiplies it by 10x. So anything that, that gets funneled, all of this money that gets poofed into existence funnels its way down and then eventually makes it into the commercial banks. If you take your $1,200 check, where do you deposit it? If you buy something... Where does that business put the money? It all goes right back to the commercial banks. And they only have to hold 10% of whatever goes back to them. What do they do with the other 90%? Well, they give it out as loans. Loans that people can bankrupt out of. These are not student loans. They're regular loans. So what happens if someone bankrupts? Well, that poofed money just goes poof. And what happens if all Americans want to take their money back out of the bank? They go, oh, I don't know if I trust this. It's only FDIC, FDIC, FDIC insured to so much. I want my money back. What if you have a few down days in the market? And people want to get their money out of the stock market and then out of the bank. But they only were legally obligated to hold 10% of that money. And the rest of it is on loans. You see, they couldn't provide that money. They would have to go bankrupt. They wouldn't be able to give that money to you. And that's why they got bailed out in 2007. But anyway, I was at the bank the other day and there were lines out the door. This was just last week. And we're not in like, I mean, we're in a pandemic, but we're not in a desperation mode yet. And again, this is my opinion when I say yet. It's everything on this channel is my opinion, not to be taken as fact, not to be taken as financial advice, education purposes of my opinion. Disclaimer. Anyway, there's a line out the door and around the block because everybody has to stay six feet apart. So what happens if it's like 2007 and everybody wants to get their money out of the bank? Well, lately, we're seeing that there's a lack of coins in the system. Lack of coins? What about the, the paper? The paper is what people are going to want. They're going to hold it easier than, than coins. You can't hold them hundreds of thousands of dollars in coins. Why are we saying there's a lack of, there's a coin shortage? Anyone else thinking that's a little funky? 
a coin shortage. No, no, no. The next thing we're going to prob- probably see, I have to use terms like that, is a cash shortage. When there's a cash shortage, that's when the desperation will kick in. That's when the people are going to go, oh, wait, they only have to hold 10% of my money. This is like a diabolical game of musical chairs. And that's why I wanted to make this video to warn just how serious fractional banking is. If you're, if someone came up to you and said, hey, will you hold trillions of dollars of mine? And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Central Bank. You hold trillions of dollars of mine. You only have to pay me a fraction of 1% on that money. You can then loan out that money that I gave you, and I only want some of it from time to time. Will you take that deal? That work? Oh, wait. (laughs) Okay, it's not already in your favor. I'll tell you what. You can then only have to hold 10% of it and then loan it out multiple times. So So with this money, you can actually multiply it by 10x on loans and invest that money in different places. And you only got to hold 10% of it. Will you take that? The banks are like sitting there like, you know, you said got Jamie Dimon and those guys like, oh, sure, we'll take it. Perfect. No problem. Oh my God. They gave us, they really gave us that deal. Can you believe this? It's like the, everyone who knows what fractional reserve banking is, thinks it's about the craziest thing ever, except for the bankers who are quietly sitting there like, this is perfect. I love this. This is great. We have all the money. And we get to multiply it by 10. Fractional reserve banking. That is just my rant on it. And what you need to know. And maybe think about the future. Think about the future. We're seeing in the news Bank of America shutting their doors. So you can't even get the cash. You can't even go to the teller and request the cash. They shut the doors, and then you have lines that are the ones that are open, six feet apart, everyone, around the... I mean, this line's going to go for miles. It wasn't even desperation mode, and this line was dang near a quarter mile the other day. (laughs) Am I the only one thinking about this? Am I crazy? Post a comment down below and let me know. Because even if you don't agree with me, I'd love to hear your opinion. If you do agree with me... Point out some stuff that I'm missing out on in this video in a comment below. I read every comment. I respond to every comment. And if you haven't smashed that like button already, it's gray. I mean, do you like it being gray? Turn that thing blue. Smash that thing already. If you don't like what's going on, take it out on the like button. More people will see this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, I don't know what you're waiting for. The subscribe button's right there. Click that thing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next video. Signing out.